Hey everybody, welcome to another Elvistory video. <clears throat> so I got a little treat for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a reaction video to the Graceland Home Movies video. And now, what this is, is an Elvis fan named Peggy Atkins between 1968 and 1970 uh, would go to Graceland and she would film um, Elvis coming up to you know the gates or riding around on the horses and you know various people that you know worked with him or was related to him you know driving around um, so she filmed this between 68 and 70 and in 1990 she moved away and she wanted to give this um, footage this video to Graceland so the fans could have it and I thought that was uh, really pretty nice of her to do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch this along with you guys um, it's one of my favorites uh, I mean basically anything that's a favorite of mine I try to put up on here because I really want to share that with you guys Okay, so without any further ado, I'm going to take you guys to the Graceland Home Movies, and when it's over, I'll come back and we'll talk about it some more. Okay, I'll see you guys there in a bit. Throughout the years that Elvis lived at Graceland, the front gate area was a place fans enjoyed being. There was the chance that Elvis might drive through the gates in one of his cars, or on a motorcycle, or ride down on a golf cart, or on horseback, and have an impromptu autograph session. Fans could also watch him and his friends ride their horses and engaging in other recreational activity on the grounds. Even when Elvis was out of town, it was fun to be at the gates, getting to know the guards, some of whom were Elvis's relatives, and meeting other fans from around the nation and the world. When Elvis was away, sometimes the guards would let fans onto the grounds for photos, sometimes letting them up, or even driving them up, to the front of the house to take pictures. There was a sense of warmth, welcome, and camaraderie. Actually, some lifelong friendships among Elvis fans began at the Graceland Gates. In the early 1990s, Peggy Adkins, an Elvis fan in Memphis, was preparing to move away. She decided to contact Graceland and Elvis Presley Enterprises and offer her Super 8 home movies of Elvis to the Graceland archives as a gift. Peggy had never transferred the film to home video and had not watched it in years. She brought the reels to Graceland and asked only two things. She wanted to watch the movies one last time once they were transferred to video, and she asked that Graceland and Elvis Presley Enterprises share them with the fans. Clips from this material have been provided to news media and used in various projects through the years, so they have indeed been shared with the fans, but these home movies of Elvis are presented in their entirety for the first time on this DVD. Most of the material from Peggy's home movies without Elvis in them is not included here. These home movies were shot during the period of 1968 to 1970. Peggy's recollection was that she shot the footage of Elvis in the black leather jacket the week his daughter Lisa Marie was born. All of this footage was shot at Graceland but for the brief segments shot in Houston during Elvis's February-March 1970 engagement at the Astrodome. Many thanks to Peggy Adkins for this very special gift.
everybody welcome back I hope you enjoyed this video like I have and like I said in the beginning of the video it's definitely hands down one of my favorite uh, Elvis videos out there uh, for several reasons I mean it's just you know the whole the feeling of it and I know you guys felt this too watching that it, it's it's so intimate because it's you know it's Elvis and the fans, you know, it's, it's that, it's that, uh, the intimacy of that all, you know, it, it's Elvis in his element at home with his friends, you know, just being himself, you know, he's away from, he's away from, uh, the stage, he's away from the movies, he's away from all that stuff, he's just, you know, riding around on his horse, having fun, you know, you, you just, <clears throat> you look at him and, and he just seems genuinely, like genuinely happy, like he's just enjoying life. And, and uh, what's, what's nice about this, not only just seeing, you know, him, you get to see, you know, uh, his cousin Billy Smith when he was younger coming, you know, out of the uh, driveway there. You know, you see Joe Esposito, Vernon. Uh, a lot of times you see Elvis's uncle Vester, who was the security guard at Graceland. You see him a few times, and, and it's just such a nice, <clears throat> nice video. And and, and uh, what's really cool is, and this is something that's always um, stood out in my mind, is you know when you're looking at that video, you see Elvis, biggest star on the planet right and as you're watching him sign those autographs you see shopping stores in the background you see people's you know blue collar people's homes right on the next street over you know that just gives you an idea of um, how humble Elvis was you know when you stop and think about it he could have <clears throat> when his fame really took off, I mean, he could have just went to taking his family and went to California and, you know, lived a high life. But he chose to stick around. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, he had the biggest house in the, in the area, the biggest property. But, you know, I think it was so nice that he stayed grounded in the way that he did, <clears throat> that he still stayed in like that that whole blue collar area. I mean, I know when he bought the house, it really wasn't like that. You know, there wasn't so many shopping stores and this and that. But even still, with all that going on, you know, it didn't phase Elvis like, oh my God, you know, this is becoming a community. I got to get out of here. You know, that didn't even phase him. He didn't care. You know, you know, he liked living among regular people because that's, you know, it, it helped him to feel grounded. And that's what one thing you know when I watch that video it's just it's amazing to see the most famous uh, superstar ever you know signing autographs on his front lawn who who else has ever done that I mean and then uh, you just see regular people going by doing their everyday thing as he's <laughs> I mean to me that was you know that was always bizarre to see you know, to see that, to see him and then regular people just going about their business, going to the store <laughs> behind him, you know, it's just, it, it's something else to, to see that. And like I said, it gives you, it just gives you a good sense of, uh, you know, how Elvis just wanted to be a regular person. Yeah, I think, to be honest with you, I think being in an area like that helped him just to feel more like a regular person because he never, you know, he never liked to hold himself above anybody. You know, he always wanted to always feel grounded. And, you know, and it, it, it was nice to see that, I mean, you get a sense also of just how much he just appreciated his fans. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you and a lot of, people were entertainers I don't want to say a lot maybe there are a couple I don't know 
but nowadays if you go up to a celebrity's house i mean and, and you sit there and you watch them more than likely they're gonna call the police because you stalk them <laughs> but you know elvis he didn't take that attitude you know his attitude always was the fans put me here the fans put me here so elvis um always found time for the fans always no matter where he was no matter if he was <clears throat> where he was coming and going from it didn't matter he always stopped to take time out for his fans because if you guys remember there was a quote years ago that uh i think in the early days somebody ripped one of his shirts one of the fans and somebody said something like oh elvis they ripped your shirt look at this and he's like i don't care they could take it if they want they put it there that was always his attitude like the fans put me here so he always had time for the fans and he really understood he really understood that he really got it you know and it was just good to see him just you know just talking with the fans and just you know just uh being himself with his fans you know other than being on a stage and having to sing them a song you know he was just hanging out with them and you know that that's one of the things that I always loved about Elvis the person it's just you know he always stood grounded he was always he always remained humble and he always was thankful and appreciative to his fans he never ever took that for granted so all right guys I really hope you enjoyed this video like I said it, it's definitely in my top five of Elvis videos out there just because of that intimate feeling like you just have like like you're kind of almost like you're there with them you know for, for those reasons this is definitely one of my all-time favorite videos and I'm very thankful to uh, uh, Miss Peggy Atkins who donated this video to Graceland for us fans all right all right guys thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it thank you all for your support thank you for subscribing if you haven't please do and if you get a second when the video is done and you like the video just hit that like button really quick because it really helps me out all right i hope you're all doing great and as always tcb and god bless thank you good night